Ready? Huh? Adventure awaits us. Let's go. We're running a little bit late so we had to run home and get our tickets that I forgot. It doesn't matter how old I am, I still feel like a little child flying in an airplane. <laughs> Now to get a rental car, some lunch, and make a two hour drive-ish, 69 miles plus traffic, into Santa Rosa, where the expo is. San Francisco traffic is not a joke. I'm glad Jeremiah is a capable driver. <laughs> I'll be freaking out. So we have kind of a tradition because we used to have to take these really long road trips to get Malia, our daughter, from her mom's house. And we would go on like summers, summer breaks, and then holidays. And at one point we were driving from Arkansas to North Dakota, and then at another point we were driving from Arkansas to San Antonio. And so that was what we used like our vacation time for because we couldn't leave our other kids and our farm just a whole lot. So we would kind of roll in, you know, a night away when we would have to make those long road trips. And one of the things we did to make those fun and interesting was we would look up diners, drive-ins, and dives from whatever area we were in. And over the course of going to those places, we ate at a lot of different ones. Probably, I think I've counted it once. I think it was like 13 different places. Yeah, we've done we've done like 13. And then whenever we went to Kansas City that time and oh took no. the kids to camp, we ate more like we ate like six there. We've been to a lot of different ones, and so we had to look up diners, drive-ins, and dives for San Francisco. And we're at a place that we're about to go in and eat. And then we will be headed on to Santa Rosa. through the expo. Jeremiah is running back to the hotel because I forgot my tripod there. And I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. I've been like not videoing anything. So I'm getting my camera out and videos from now on. I'm looking where I'm supposed to go. Guys, I get so, <laughs> so excited and so nervous. <laughs> Ever seen prettier seed packs ever? Well done, Hudson Valley. I'm walking through the expo and my lips are on fire. I need some lip balm, and so I turn and here's this Renegade Botanicals. Got my lip balm. I was like, oh. So thankful. So I'm gonna show you her shop. She's got some really awesome stuff here. This is Amy, and I'm at her booth here called Renegade Botanical. She's got some awesome products. I just tried them. She just got her Etsy set up. Uh, so tell me a little bit about what you make, like your intent. Yeah. So I have a bunch of products here. Um, I make them all myself by hand, and I use um, sustainable ingredients. So a lot of them are actually wild craft. Um, I grow some of my ingredients, and I just source. Um, you know, really try to be as sustainable as possible. So I make everything here in Northern California, and I have um, about 25 products. So um, oral health products like toothpaste. Um, I also have uh, body products, personal care, and facial care. Oh, so today, so today, Amy is my lip savior and my throat savior. This is an awesome throat spray. I just tried and was like, I need to get that because I know I'm going to be doing a lot of talking. <laughs> yeah, and you can buy her stuff online. She just got set up an Etsy. So my website is renegadebotanicals.com and my store is on there as well. Awesome, thank you. It's the same layout we'll do for Bioneers. I'm sitting underneath a tree and we just stopped to get some lunch 
everything is going really cool. This is such a neat event, and I've got to meet so many wonderful people. Definitely feeling the time change because like I am such a morning person. I wake up at 5.50 at home every morning of course with the kids in the farm and this morning here in California I was like laying in bed with at 3.50 with my eyes open like this is not gonna work so um might have to be scheduling some naps for midday here. Uh, it's going really well. I'm looking forward to meeting a couple more people I know that are here that are YouTubers um, and I've got to meet so many viewers and it's very, very encouraging. Becky's homestead and listen to her talk and we just laughed the whole time. She's so much fun. <laughs> and we were just talking about raising kids on the farm and just starting a homestead. Her channel's one that's really inspired me. So oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> so, so glad. Yeah, honestly, I'm so glad. The more homesteaders the better. So if you Absolutely. have that little little fire in your heart, I think you should just go down that road and try it. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. You're <laughs> Guys, this is just right outside the Expo Center. That's a pomegranate tree. Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. No. <laughs> Look at it, that is wild. I've never seen a pomegranate tree before. In a garden, we have an invitation to wonder. We have an invitation to awe of the stories and awe of the beauty of what we can bring up in that place. And, and even if we live in a world that doesn't put a lot of value on it, we have to decide to, to place the value on things in our life. We have to, to understand every single one of you holds the ability and the capacity and the authority to say what is going to have value in your life. Hey y'all, it's about to get really real because Brad Gates is in here. And if you have watched my garden tours for very long at all, you know that I am a huge fan of Wild Boar Farms tomatoes. So I'm about to go see if I can interview him a little bit for my channel. Yeah. <laughs> You feel, like, you feel like you know them and everything, but you've never actually met them. I'd love to do a quick interview for my YouTube channel. Sure, if we try to go somewhere. Yeah, let's just step out here right now. Are we good? Uh, yeah, you're good. Okay, so I'm here with Brad Gates. I've been so excited. I've been telling my YouTube following that I might fangirl a little bit because I do garden tours with him. Every week in my garden, I'm going to be doing a garden tour. Back in the day when I was the only person in the whole world 
hold a you know Berkeley Tide or Black Beauty or something in my hand, going the tomato roll can't do without this. Yeah. And then I have people all over saying it's yes. great. That, that makes them feel like it's come from so Absolutely. Thank you so much. You guys are going to put a link to Brad's website down below. And I know so many of you have already bought seeds to grow after my garden tours, and I just cannot recommend more more from Stephen Max. So thank great. you. Today was a full and wonderful day. The last few clips I had for this day, which was some stuff in the vendor hall, are gone from my card for some reason. I don't know what happened. Maybe I wasn't recording. I don't know. I'm kind of delirious. It's not even that late, but I am on central time. It's 10.05 here, which means it's five minutes after I turn into a pumpkin. So. I just wanted to tell you guys this day was amazing. I'm going to be doing a lot more tomorrow. I'll have another vlog up. Just what an incredible day. So many beautiful smiling faces. Getting to meet so many of you who have supported us in this dream. Getting to share my heart on gardening and getting to meet some of my heroes. Just really absolutely incredible. And you will be proud to know I did not buy a single seed packet. But that's what tomorrow's for. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Until next time.